To do point analyses, simply click on the different points you want to analyze and the spectrometer will begin to analyze them immediately. You can look at what you're analyzing by going over here to this window on the right hand side and toggling from acquisition to analysis. And so here we're seeing the data for the first analysis spot. And I can tell that because if I look at the bottom down here, I can actually see that number one is highlighted. So that's the first analysis spot down here. In this first analysis, I can see the EDS spectrum at the top here in red. I can change it by using the mouse, so I can use the center scroll button to zoom in and out. That's too far in. I can use this line and kind of drag with the left side click on the mouse to expand and look at the spectrum. You'll see that below that is a periodic table, and the software is making an attempt during and after the analyses to identify elements based upon the energies of the EDS bands that you see above these peaks. Some of these need to be looked at by a human and so you're going to have to use your better judgment to decide if the software has done the analysis correctly or not. For example, we know that there's carbon on the surface of the thin section because we carbon coded it. So we might click on this and decide we're not going to count carbon in our chemical analyses because we know it's a surface feature. Other things we might pay attention to are um, things that seem out of place for whatever rock we're looking at. This often happens here. This is tellurium. However, uh, tellurium overlaps with, has overlapping peaks with other common elements. And so you can see here, these are the peaks for tellurium. Um, if we zoom in further, you might see that they don't necessarily fit very well. There's a lot of tellurium peaks that don't seem to be present. If we zoom out here and eliminate tellurium, right? We may be able to identify something else, including aluminum, for example, that might fit some of the peaks better. In this case, it doesn't seem like it does. Sometimes the software will just misidentify elements that don't really belong there. Gold may be another example. However, we should be pretty excited here because we seem to have zirconium. We can click on the zirconium peaks. Right, and see that we have zirconium peaks. We can click on this and see what the zirconium bands are. We have silicon. Okay. And we may be thinking at this point, wow, look at this mineral. It's been very bright in backscattered electron image. It's the number one analysis right here on this very bright, long, skinny, euhedral looking crystal. This is probably a zircon.